case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that revolved around defective airbags, Daimler Chrysler found themselves facing a class action lawsuit. The lawsuit was brought forward by individuals and entities who owned model year 1996 to 1997 minivans manufactured by Daimler Chrysler. The plaintiffs accused the auto manufacturing giant of concealing defects in the front passenger seat airbags, which they claim have a tendency to deploy with excessive force. This, according to the plaintiffs, elevates the risk of serious injury or even death. Moreover, they pursued damages to either replace the defective airbags or install safer alternatives. Central to the lawsuit was the allegation that Daimler Chrysler failed to adequately inform buyers about the dangerous defect. This led to the certification of the class action lawsuit in which considerations had to be made regarding the specific requirements for such an action and to determine whether common legal and factual questions were more significant than individual issues. This was amidst a counter move by Daimler Chrysler, which sought to appeal the certification order due to the exclusion of certain individuals from the class. In a crucial decision, the court proceeded to uphold the class action lawsuit against Daimler Chrysler, solely pertaining to the claims of defective airbags and excluding any allegations of fraud. There was a caveat, the proceedings were to be in line with the warranty laws pertinent to each class member's home state. The trial court drew focus on two main points of commonality among the plaintiffs. The alleged defectiveness of the airbags and Daimler Chrysler's purported withholding of information from the buyers. The court also held the option to maintain the class for specific issues or to create subclasses if necessary. Daimler Chrysler saw an accusation leveled against them regarding the competence of the class representatives and their counsel. However, they were unable to provide any evidence of conflicts of interest. This led the trial court to conclude that the plaintiffs had indeed been properly informed and that their counsel was indeed competent to proceed. This legal conflict involving defective airbags and an automobile giant reached the Oklahoma Supreme Court, which reviewed the earlier decisions. Upon scrutiny of the lower court's certification of the class action, it found no abuse of discretion and therefore upheld the decision while partially reversing it. Although it upheld the class certification, the court did not offer any stance on the merits of the remaining claims and defenses offered by both parties. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.